Hey, everybody in here, just sitting here having my coffee. Oops, it's very full. Hot coffee again. And, well, I don't know. I'm just drained of energy, so I'm just going to piddle around today. But, uh, yeah, just piddle around today. I got the wood-burning stove going, and I lit a tiny fire in it today just because I wanted to. I put it together. It's just wrapped in foil, like the joints and stuff. And there's foil around there because I don't have any more of that, that uh, heat shield tape. Uh, but I'm going to get some real soon. And you know what? Even with the crappy foil that I've got on there, it is not smoking inside the tiny house. But I really do want to get it all secured really nicely. But it it's wonderful just sitting here watching this fire and I've put in a whole bunch of wood and I've got more wood there. I'm going to fill that thing up with wood and that's a different kind of kindling. That's got, uh, oops, <laughs> you can't see if I'm pointing my finger at it. There you go. That's got, and excuse my mess, I'm sorry, uh, kindling wood in it and then that's got like cardboard and paper and I've got all the windows open because, well, I mean, it's like 70 degrees outside. Um, so I really didn't need to light a fire, but I wanted to because it's getting cold in the mornings. And I would like to be able to start uh, having my coffee over this wood-burning stove and breakfast. Oh, this is just so wonderful, you guys. It just brings me so much peace to be able to have this wood-burning stove in here installed and working properly oh and the the gasket the seal stuff uh i put it on the inside and this stuff is way better than what originally came with the stove so there's a really nice seal no smoke is coming in i'm in heaven and just so some of you alarmists won't freak out this looks terrible right now this is not going to stay this way don't worry the foil is going to come off and there's going to be proper sealing heat resistant tape so the stove pipe goes up into an elbow and into a double walled pipe that goes through a double walled wall thimble okay and then there is a well I'll show you outside the t-pipe so it's a double wall going through another double walled thimble so I, I'm not going to have problems with this piece of wood and the wood on the outside catching on fire. It's worked very, very great. So don't worry. It's fine. This is not going to catch on fire. This is what it looks like on the outside. Yep, that wall thimble sticks out a little bit, but that's okay because it's designed to go through a wall that has some thickness. So I don't have all that thickness, so it hangs out a little bit. And you can see the double walled pipe coming out. And then the T-pipe is also a double-walled pipe. It has a cap on the bottom that I can pull out and clean it, uh, scrub the pipes all the way up. Perfect. It works great. Uh, this year, yeah, I am going to secure that board with some little pegs, some little pieces of wood to hold it up because it's kind of warped. Yeah, I'm using the same wood that I did last year. And it's working just absolutely perfect. UPS came, so you know what time it is. I already opened them, so you don't get to see that thing. Anyhow, the first one is Tractor Supply gift card. Well, it's I took it out because I've already been to Tractor Supply. And I got me some propane. I am stocked up on propane. And I still have a little bit left on the card. So thank you so very much. That comes from Sarah Kay. Also from Sarah Kay. Came at the same day. I had one of these on my wish list. The Tractor Supply Company card was on my wish list too. But I had one of these. They, they are staple gun staples. Because I've like got five staples left. And she ended up getting me not just one. Two. <laughs> three. Four. But five of these, five. So I am going to be able to get that chicken wire up because uh, I'm going to be stapling it to the wood. Um, and I'll be using some wire to 
get it up in places as well. And I have decided I am going to line the entire inside of the pallets. It'll help hold them together better. And uh, the the pallets that are kind of like too far apart, um, it'll it'll be good. It'll it'll keep uh, roosters from getting out, especially since they're kind of small right now. So thank you, Sarah Kay, for the gift card to Tractor Supply. And thank you so much for the beautiful <laughs> staples. I got some big projects coming up that I'm going to need a ton of staples. So I am taking it easy today. And uh, my spirits have been lifted because Dad is doing better. He was able to schedule his procedure today. It's going to take place on Monday. Outpatient. They will probably send him right home. If they find a blockage, they'll put it in a stint and then he's going to be good to go. I am 99.999% sure he's going to be good to go. Yeah, my peas are still growing. I don't have any peas yet. So that's good. Um, they made it through the storm. Uh, like I said yesterday, they, uh, they had lots of uh, wind, lots of rain, some debris here and there, but otherwise they're fine. Uh, their home is fine and my son is still there taking care of them and he is uh, going to stay there through the procedure and there is not a better person uh, for them to be with right now than my son. So that's awesome. So I'm walking towards the chicken yard here, rooster yard, and I've kind of started putting, um, I haven't put it up yet, but I, I'm kind of like getting used to the idea of how I'm going to do it. So this, this is a nice big roll. It's going to come up to about here and then I will likely put it even higher. Um, I'm going to extend these with wood, like I said the other day. So this is all going to line the inside of this. So I don't have to worry about the slots in the wood that are too big. I could put up more wood, like I said, but I I just don't want to do that. Um, it's going to make these too heavy, and this ground is unlevel. It's not level at all, and I don't want to make anything, I don't want to make the pallets heavier. You know what I mean? Oh, and check this out. Neighbor Selena dropped off a thing of chicken bedding for me, so I'm going to be able to get this whole coop covered in bedding, so I think I may do that here in a little bit but anyhow this is great I'm feeling pretty good about it oh my gosh I'm still getting green beans look at you guys there's some big ones oh my lord a whole bunch of them here let me get these all picked and look at this little pot I cannot believe it look at the size of these green beans look at that I can't believe this is finally putting out beans. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna have a zillion green beans. This is the green bean harvest. Oh my gosh, yeah, some of them have some bugs in it, so I'll have to break them apart and see if there's any usable parts in it. But I didn't even know they were still growing. And these are growing in clay soil, except for the ones in that pot. My son said he took his grandma to the store today, picking out steaks for dinner tonight. Oh, man, he got me thinking about steaks. And I love to have steaks that are fried up in a pan with uh, green beans. I just stick the green beans in there and season them the same as the steaks. And it turns out delicious. I don't have any steaks, but I'm sure I'll be able to figure something out to make. But hey, kiddo, you don't have fresh green beans. Oh, and the green beans that I dehydrated, I'm never going to dehydrate green beans again. The method that I use, just putting them out in the sun in the dehydrator, letting them bake till they, I put them in a pot of, I don't know, uh, some kind of soup or something, and they were awful. They tasted like cardboard, so I'm not going to do it anymore. I'm just going to eat them fresh, or I'm going to pickle them, or do something like that, because my method of dehydrating them is terrible. Oh, and look at this. See, it's one of my brand new rugs. Well, Papa, Papa christened it uh, in the wee hours of the morning. He must have had to go really bad and it was a number two. So uh, I just pulled it outside and hosed it down, scrubbed it off, and it's just drying right now. This is great. This is what I needed um, because if it was just the regular carpeting, I would have had to try and clean it up inside and that's just a little... So 
Yep, it's cleaned up very nicely. And once it's dry, I'm going to bring it back inside. Look at it's been a couple of hours and this fire is still going and I didn't even hardly put any wood in there. Ha! Oh, well, maybe I might get to cook my dinner over this fire. I really don't know what I'm going to cook for dinner tonight, but I may very well just cook it over this wood-burning stove. So that's all I got for you guys today. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.